Hey, you probably have heard of NVIDIA's RTX voice, the R noise that is now baked into OBS, and Crisp that is integrated into Discord. But you're in this video because you're trying to find out which one is best suited for you, which has the best quality and performance. Well, in this video, I'll be welcoming you in the noise suppression battle royale. I'm Avila and welcome to my YouTube channel. So I know I've said Battle Royale, but actually we're just testing out three, originally four, but I removed Noise Blocker because it's kind of out of the league from this other three competitors that we have. So again, we're just going to be testing out RTX Voice, Crisp, and RN Noise. Now, what are you going to expect from this video? Like what information would you get out of here? Well, first, we're going to be doing some tests from two microphones, a lapel microphone, which is a $2 microphone, and this Rode Pod mic, which is a normal kind of semi mid-range broadcast microphone and then we're going to be checking out their quality like how well do they remove the background noise how well do they remove the random background sound or whatever that is not your voice and how much they degrade the quality of your microphone because you know whenever you're removing a noise i'm pretty sure it'll also degrade the quality of your microphone just by a tiny bit and how much performance do they take and from what component like is it from the gpu are they taking out from your cpu or are they using the RAM? So uh, we're gonna check all of those from this three noise suppression software. And hopefully this video will give you the information that you would need. And yeah, let's start off with the applications or the softwares themselves. So first, RN noise that is baked into OBS. So you just open up OBS and you can just click filters on one of your microphone sources, click plus noise suppression. And there you go, it's RN noise, higher quality, now don't use speaks, that's outdated and we're not using that one, we're just going to use RN noise and there's no configurable settings. Now you're probably saying, but Alan, this is only an OBS, how can I use this on other platforms or other programs? Well, I would have a video dropping somewhere next week or I don't know actually when, but why don't you subscribe now so you get notified whenever that video drops. Um, but yeah, you can use this outside of OBS. It doesn't have any configurable settings, so I guess well, let's move on to the second one which is crisp. All right, so now we got crisp open. So this is crisp, you gotta make your account and you gotta log in. Now the thing with crisp is you can only use it for 120 minutes for free per week. So you gotta wait until next week after that two hour call. So that's uh, that's kind of thing. I'll put the link down there so you can see the pricing if you wanna use it for a limited amount of time. But this is crisp and we're just checking out the quality and the settings available, a configurability, and how well it is. So I guess 120 minutes for just this video is enough. But personally, I won't be using Crisp, and you'll see why later. So this is Crisp. This says you know you can change your language on, of the application, and then you have your advanced settings, which has the lock microphone volume at optimal level and echo cancellation. You also can select this which I always select high definition for the best quality possible. And this is the default settings. So you can just quit on that. And then you can go back to the crisp tab. And then right here, you got your microphone. You can change it to whatever microphone you'll be using it with. And here it shows you how many application is using it. In my case, OBS Studio is the only application that is using uh, the crisp microphone. And on speaker, this is the incoming volume. So if you have your friends on Discord, you can make it so that Discord sends the volume to crisp and then you can listen to crisp or the process discord volume of your friends without the noise so uh that's cool and um yeah no configurable settings no like strength of whatever but yeah that is crisp now let's move on into nvidia's rtx voice so this is nvidia rtx voice and it's apparently also pinned into the taskbar you know it kind of just sticks in the taskbar but yeah this is the window now you can install nvidia broadcast which also has the other settings if you have an RTX card. By the way, my PC specs would be down there in the description below. So RTX voice, it's basically the same AI as the RTX voice that is inside the RTX broadcast or NVIDIA broadcast, whatever you want to call it. But this is the settings that we have for RTX voice. Oh, by the way, you can install this on a GTX card and some people got to work in on some AMD cards. So I'll try to link some of those down there in the description below. So here we go. Input device, you can change which microphone it'll use. And then on your output device, uh, this is the same as the one from Crisp. Now, the different thing here is you have the noise suppression percentage or the strength of how much it'll remove the background noise. Now, I'll be just putting it on default, which is always on the max, but you can change the settings however you like. 
Actually, I quickly dive into how much performance they are using. So first I'll open up task manager here. That's what I'm going to be using and let's check them out. So I want to show you guys how much usage the RN noise is using, but since it is baked into OBS and even if I do my trick of how you can use it outside of OBS, it won't show you. So yeah, I cannot show you how much RN noise is using, but it, I, I bet it's using like 1% of your CPU and that's it. Maybe like 50 megs of your RAM. But yeah, that's that. <laughs> I'll move into Crisp. So in Crisp, I have it on, I have it enabled. It's working right now. And the usage of it on Task Manager is currently at 2.2%. So around 2.5% with 105.9 megabytes of RAM being used and zero on the GPU engine and GPU. So that is crisp. And for the RTX voice, which I am expecting a lot of usage from this one because RTX, you know, uh, it's using around 2% on the CPU, 25 megs of memory or RAM and almost 4%, 4.5% of GPU uh, so on the GPU engine, it is using the copy and not the encode. I don't know what that means, uh, but yeah, that's that. It's still on a very low power usage. All right, so now let's move on to the testing part of the video. By the way, do not forget to check out or just read on the bottom right of your screen or bottom left, wherever it pops up, which one you are hearing, just so you don't get confused. All right, let's listen. All right, so welcome to the testing part of the video. I do have the Rode Pod mic on a table base stand. Right next to it is the keyboard and of course the mouse. And for the added effect of, you know, background noise, we do have a very rough motorcycle loop sound effect here on YouTube. And I'll be playing it at almost max volume in this uh, cell phone. And I'm just gonna play it in the background. It's gonna be sitting right here, kind of pointing kind of at me. And I do have a electric fan above me. So um, yeah, let's just play it. And I'm just going to be talking randomly and it's going to be pretty weird, but it's for the testing purposes of all this noise suppression that we have in this video. So, uh, yeah. So, hey, my name is Alan Avila. I do content creation. I do motion design, graphic design, play a tons of different games. And I don't know, I like making tech videos and just randomly taking whatever that I can as a content. And, uh, yeah, uh, what, what are you guys doing right now? Like. I've, actually, you know what? I'll ask you a question. Have you have you tried subscribing to this YouTube channel and making that subscribe button red instead of, you know, just, I don't know what color it is right now, but why not? Uh, no, actually, no, no, no. It's already red, but you got to click it and add the letter D, which makes it say subscribe. And uh, yeah, you guys can follow me on my Instagram and Twitter and whatever by just searching Alan Avila. It's usually with a single L on the Alan and of course, uh, usually it has an underscore by the end of the username, but um, yeah, uh, I do tons of content. So why are you still not subscribed? subscribe? Come on, come on. Okay, I'm I'm just gonna go close into this microphone and I'm gonna go a tad bit far on the microphone. Let's see how that sounds. <laughs> All right. All right. So now we have switched into this lapel slash lavalier microphone. It's like a cheap two dollar microphone and. Same settings, same everything. I'm going to play the sound here. I have the same fan running above me and the microphone is right here. So um, yeah, we're just going to play the same settings, same everything. So yeah, again, I'm just reminding you guys to hit that subscribe button while you're still here. Because uh, I've seen the percentage and only few of you that are actually watching my tutorials and whatever videos um, are subscribed. So make that subscribe say subscribe. So uh, yeah. Don't forget to like and share this video as well for the efforts being made for you guys so you don't have to do the same install, uninstall, try out, testing, record it, and whatever. Like, you know, it's a ton of, it's a ton of work to be a YouTuber, like, like a tech creator. Um, but yeah, uh, what are you guys up to? What games do you guys play? And, and uh, what do you guys do in your free time? Why don't you comment in the comment section below? Because I'm actually interested <laughs> just to find new hobbies or something. Anyway, I think uh, that should be it with this $2 microphone. By the way, I'm going to make a video on how you can make this $2 microphone. I think it's just $1 microphone. A dollar microphone. Uh, anyway, I'm going to be making a video about it on how you can make it sound way better than how it sounds right now. And of course, we're going to be using a noise suppression there as well. So finish this video so you'll be on. 
you know, advance ahead of those people who are just going to watch that video instead of also this video. Does that make sense? All right, you know what? I'm ending my question here. And I'm going to just speak close to the microphone and talk to you guys again. So, all right. So that is the testing part of the video. Now, as a disclaimer, I just woke up when I recorded that. That's why my voice just sounds way better. Yeah, all right, moving on. I've listened to it. I've listened to the results, how they sounded. Now, I know to myself that RTX would do the best, Chris would do second, and RNOise noise would be the last. But I am here to tell you guys why you should try all of them. And what I think about the result, what the, they did to the detail of my microphone or my voice, and how did they remove the noise. Now, let's start off with the RN noise. Now, from the results I've heard, the RN noise is trying its best to remove the background noise that you guys hear while trying to retain the quality of this microphone. I think it's the most natural one I've heard, kind of. But it is also trying to do it with the least amount of performance impact to your system. So I'm not gonna lie here, guys. I main RN noise. That's actually what I use from or for day to day kind of task. And it is working fine, it is working well. Now that is a too harsh of a sample or a test, but we are testing out their capabilities. So yeah, but in just a normal day, you're not gonna have like a motorcycle or whatever rampage sounding sound effects in your background. You're just probably gonna have some air, some, I don't know, AC fan, and a little bit of a, a sneezing neighbor or dogs barking. And I think our noise will do an okay great job for that for the lowest impact on the performance of your system now crisp is doing a great job of removing the background noise but what i have said earlier you would have to pay for something something it's like a subscription based kind of software you would have to pay for it to use for a limited amount of time and i would supply you with two hours per week which is not enough at all with video conferences online schooling, online class, online broadcasting, live streaming, those are not gonna, that time is not gonna be enough. You would have to need more. And if you need more, you gotta pay. I'm just tossing it right here at this point because you would have to keep that in mind. Now it is doing a great job. It is almost as the same quality as RTX voice. Again, almost because it's not too up there because that one uses a lot more performance. This, uh, this crisp is only running from your CPU and not your GPU. So now if you play a lot of GPU intensive games, well, I think crisp would be the answer for that because uh, it almost has the same quality as the RTX voice with just the usage of your CPU. Even at some point, uh, it did beat the RTX voice to my ears. Now, what do I mean by that? On one of the lapel part, I think I've heard a better sound coming from Crisp than RTX voice, but that is just me and that is just on a small bit, but that is my take on Crisp. Lastly, we got the RTX voice. Now, I'm pretty sure you guys knew this it would happen, that RTX voice would win, but let me give you my points, all right? Now, RTX voice would win. It is the big guy here. It uses the most amount of GPU and CPU combined, and it would kind of hit lower end system. Now you can only technically use it with an RTX card, but they kind of have enabled it to be used in a GTX card as well. So if you have like a, as long as it's a GTX card, I think you can now use RTX voice. For the AMD users, I am not sure. Now it won, but as what I was saying on the crisp one, at some point when I was using this lapel microphone, the crisp out noise suppressed the RTX voice, by, but still making my voice sound clearer in a way. But that's just me and that's just my ears. You guys may have a different take on that. But overall, RTX voice is the best. It maintains my natural voice or the quality of this microphone most of the time and it almost does completely remove most of the noise now what i've noticed on all the three noise suppression softwares they did not remove the high frequency tap on my keyboard for some reason i don't know that's probably just me or that's probably just i don't know my testing it's too harsh so yes nvidia rtx voice did win this battle royale but you guys should keep in mind all the key points or all the things that i have stated in this video about you know rn noise and crisp because I think they also do a great job of removing the background noise without really sacrificing a ton of quality, but they do have their own pros and cons. Now, lastly, again, 
just to kind of sum it up rtx voice uses the most amount of performance but has like the best kind of separation between the noise or removing the noise and keeping the natural quality or you know sound of your voice and then crisp does use no gpu power but uses cpu power but doesn't really take much of it and it is almost on par with rtx voice and sometimes even win against rtx voice rn noise on the other hand has the lowest amount of usage for everything it almost doesn't affect your system and it's already baked into obs so if you use obs then you don't have to install anything else you just gotta use add that filter no suppression and you're good no settings it just works now just a little bit of note again i would be releasing a video on how you can make a lapel or lavalier microphone sound way better this is a two dollar microphone and i can make this sound even better than what you've heard on the testing and i'll also release the rn noise or how to use rn noise outside of obs because you guys are probably thinking or you know scratching your head um, why is this in the video and I can't even use it on Zoom or whatever? Well, you can and I'll be making a video on it. So you guys should subscribe to this YouTube channel and turn on notification bell. So you get notified when that video or that tutorial drops and it's going to be a big help. Again, only a small percentage of you guys that are watching my videos are actually subscribed and I don't know why. It's like, I don't know, point something. It doesn't make sense. You guys are watching me, so you should subscribe. You guys are watching me and you're enjoying and learning from my content. So I guess you should subscribe, right? Uh, but yeah, again, Hopefully you guys have learned something. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any tech video suggestion or tutorial suggestion, drop it in the comment section. If you have any other competitor on a noise suppression side of things, because I'm still trying to find the best and the least amount of performance, then why don't drop it in the comment section as well so I can check if it is worth my time reviewing that software. Uh, but yeah, again, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe, notification bell. I'm so repetitive. I'll end the video here and goodbye. Have a nice day.